guys, it's TFC, I'm Victoria, and I'm going to bring you the how-to redstone tutorial. First up, I'm going to be showing you a couple different ways of how to do the cluster bomb. So to do this one, it's the least, um, the cluster bomb is the most destructive bomb in Minecraft, if you do it big enough, using the least amount of resources. Now this one is going to be done using buttons, so what you will need is TNT, which can be crafted as seen here. You will need set, um, sandstone or any, really any other block you can place buttons on. You will also need a red, you will also need a dispenser as seen, redstone, which is just an ore that you mine with an iron or diamond pick. You will also need a redstone comparator as seen here. Okay. Also, the last thing that is optional are repeaters, which we're not going to use on that slow scale one, and a, one of your to um, activator of your choice of redstone torch, a stone pressure plate, a wood pressure plate, a lever. a stone button or a wood button. Now if you wanna if you wanna use the least amount of resources as possible, I would go with the wooden or stone button. Now to make this cluster bomb, all you need is one block here and you need your redstone clock, which is a redstone parallel, which you then right click so it activates like that. We redstone in this pattern a, a dispenser right there and this, the button. Now, to make sure that your dispenser is in the right place, you want to make sure it ticks. If it does not make a ticking sound, that, it is, that means it is not in the right place. So here, it makes a as long as the website is activated, it makes a series of clicks. But in the other places, it always makes it only makes one. One click, and it will only activate one piece of TNT. If you put in multiple, if you put in, but if it's in the right place and it ticks multiple times, it means it will activate all TNT put in here. For this demonstration, we're only going to use. Well, um, I'm only going to use one piece, one piece of TNT. Now, to get it started, all you need to click, all you need to do is put one piece or as many as you want in there. But the button will not last forever. It will only activate for some period of time and then stop, unlike the other choices. But that so it means if I only want to activate one or not very many pieces of TNT, it is good for that. If you want to activate many. Button is not your best option. Here is how it looks. So mostly you will get most of your resources back, as well as being blown a pretty big crate on whoever you want. But the more TNT, the more destructive the bomb is, and the button for destruction is not your best option. And now I'm going to be showing you. How do you do the cluster bomb with the pressure plate? So again, it's exactly the same setup. Again, without the block, and the dispenser goes in the same place with one piece of TNT. But with this one, if you want to do a big one by a money TNT, you have to keep standing on it until all the TNT is off. That is why sometimes you might want to add some pressure plates. Hey guys, I'm back, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to make a cluster bomb with the lever. Okay, so again, it's exactly the same. And like the um, pressure plate, 
you can also either put the level here and light it, or if, it, if it's small scale like this, or if it's big scale, you can add um, redstone repeaters and redstone trail. Hey guys, I'm Mac, and this is one dispenser with 64 one stack of TNT in it. So to do this one, I'm going to be standing away so I don't get blown away. With this, I just use a redstone trail connected to a lever. Okay, and let's get this thing started. I'm just gonna run away now. See, the clock, the repeating clock, allows you to fire all of the TNT before it's blown. So this is the destruction of the cluster bomb when you only use one dispenser instead of like 20. So imagine how much destruction we're gonna do when we, we set this up with 10 dispensers. Hey guys, I'm back and this time we have 10 dispensers all filled up with 16 TNT and a, le and a redstone trail with a lever. After I set this off, we are going to compare it to the to the one the one with one TNT and the one with one dispenser containing one stack. And this is a total of like two and a half stacks of TNT. Uh, let's, let's do a damage report. Jesus. Uh, it's kind of laggy here. Look at this. Oh, and it branches off. Look at this. It goes all the way over here. And over there. That is a pretty massive hole. So, guys, looky here. You've got the... One using ten dispensers and two and a half stacks of TNT. The one using one dispenser and sixty-four TNT, and the one using one dispenser and one TNT. Overall, there are many different ways and many different combinations and many different cluster bombs. But as you can see, if you want to destroy your friend's house or destroy a silver. Really do anything TNT related. The cluster bomb is a pretty good bomb for the job. I'm Victoria, and that was how to redstone the cluster bomb. See ya.